Welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today we'll be taking our first look at motors. We'll be using a potentiometer to control the speed and the direction of the motor. The potentiometer will be programmed to have a center point at which the motor will be off. When you turn the, mo when you turn the uh, potentiometer in one direction, it'll control the speed of the motor in one direction, and when you turn it the other way, it'll control the speed of the motor in the opposite direction. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so we've got everything hooked up here. First thing I want to point out is our power supply board over here. This allows um, five volt current to power the motor. There's uh, jumpers here and here. This one's set to five volts to power the motor. And this one's set to 3.3 volts to power everything else. We've got our potentiometer right here with our voltage flowing through it and then it's connected to pin zero on the PCF. Then we've got our motor driver right down in here. I want to talk a little bit about that. This thing is capable of powering four motors. It's got four inputs, four outputs, and there's four grounds. It's really just a digital switch for powering motors. We've got this one right here is our five volts for the motor connected down here. And then we've got this one right here connected to 3.3 volts to actually power the switch. We've got our inputs over here connected to GPIOs. And then we've got our motor connected right down here on inputs one and two. So when we power the motor, we'll be switching it on or off on either pin one or pin two to change the direction of it. So let's uh, head over to the computer. We'll show you some code and we'll make it work. So here's our code. Everything at the top here is pretty much the same as the previous PWM projects. We've got our motor pins defined here. Those are the ones connected to the uh, GPIO. We've got our analog read, analog write. We're going to be calculating the analog value. And right here, if the value is greater than zero, it's going to turn the motor forward. We're going to do that by setting pin one to high, pin two to low, and then we're going to print forward. If the value is less than zero, it's going to set pin one to low, pin two to high, and print turn backward. The motor will turn in the opposite direction. And if it's, the value actually happens to be zero, smack dab in the middle, then the motor's just gonna stop. And we're gonna print all the information in the shell down here below, so you'll be able to see what's going on. It's gonna be kind of hard to see the motor moving. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. Oops. One thing I forgot to mention is if you want this to work, you have to turn on the power supply board. There we go. Tried to set it at zero, but it's pretty close. Let's see if we can, there it is, right there in the middle. So if we turn it to the right, You'll see the duty cycle. Yeah. Turn it the other way. And it moves in the opposite direction. And then back to the middle. That's all there is to it. Anyways, next time we'll be taking a look at servos. Gonna be doing a couple more videos on motors. Um, Next week's going to be a servo, and then we'll be taking a look at stepper motors. But I think this is actually the last video with the PCF, so be able to get that out of there. Next projects are going to look a little bit simpler. It'd be nice to get the breadboard cleaned up a bit. Anyways, until next time, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to read your comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos.
We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.